Greetings, everybody. I just wanted to go over our sensitivity and specificity calculations for the next exam. This is going to serve as an overview and supplemental information. So what we have on the board right here is a two by two table. We say that because we have two cells by two cells. Now going horizontally across it, you have your test results. So you are testing positive whether or not you have the disease or do not have the disease. And so that gives us our A plus B. So this is all positive tests. Now, when you go horizontally down here, you have all test negatives. Now this is regardless of whether or not they um, have the disease. So this is all negative tests. Whereas you go down vertically, A plus C, this is all sick, regardless of test result. And B plus D is all well, or people that do not have the disease. So if you test positive for the disease and you have the disease, we call this being true positive. And that is A uh, in our little formula. So A is the number of true positives. Whereas if you have the disease and you test negative for the disease, you are what we call false negative. And so the best example that we can have for a false negative is something like HIV, where you will not test positive for HIV for a period of time after you've been infected. We call that the, the silent period or the window period. And then over here, we have people that test positive but don't have the disease. And we gave examples in class about people with autoimmune disorders. And if you're testing serology, their serology is not often accurate. Whereas the D, which is our true negatives, which test negative for the disease and do not have the disease. So in any type of microbiological test or virology or serology, you want to maximize the number of true negatives and maximize the number of true positives. You don't want a high percentage of false positives, and you don't want a high percentage of false negatives. So we use the sensitivity and specificity formulas. So A, the number of true positives over the total number of sick is the percentage of true positives out of all diseased people, okay? Whereas the specificity is the percentage of true negatives out of all well people. So how many, what is the percentage or the probability that people are actually negative? Okay, so we have the sensitivity and specificity. Now, one thing that we should emphasize is high levels of sensitivity equals a good screening test. And we usually mean that because there are few people that are going to slip through the cracks. Um, high levels of specificity equal a good confirmatory test. Now, again, as we discussed in class, there are those tests that are extraordinarily high in sensitivity and also extraordinarily high in specificity. However, those tests are always more expensive to run. So you want to be careful when selecting uh, your tests in those scenarios. So let's go ahead and set up an example here. Now I'm going to delete these values and we're going to put in real values for all of these spaces and give you a real example of what this might work like. Let's say the total population that we're playing with is 100. So we have a total of 100 people in our population. And of the 100 people, we're going to say we know for a fact that 25 people are sick. Okay, so then that means we know that 75 people are well. All right, so we run our tests, okay, and we compare them against the gold standard for whatever experiment we're doing, and we know for a fact 
that 15 people here are truly sick and they test positive for sick. That leaves us with 10 people who test negative even though they have the sickness. Now, here we're going to say that there are 10 people who test positive but do not have the disease and 65 here. Remember, we're going to add these up. That's going to get us to 25 and this will get us to 65. Now let's apply these formulas. So our sensitivity equals fifteen divided by twenty five times one hundred. So our sensitivity is sixty percent. So that's not really good. So let's look at our specificity. Our specificity equals 65 divided by 75 times 100. That gives us 86%. So we have a high specificity and a low sensitivity. Now in this made up data, we would say that this test would be much better. It's, it's a pretty garbage test overall, but this test would be much more suited to a, uh, a confirmatory test than a screening test, okay? So I hope this helps you uh, review some of the fundamentals of the two by two table and sensitivity and specificity. Thank you for watching.